to Butternut Crossings. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and I hope today is the day I earn your like and subscription. Speaking of earning a like and subscription, I do want to say thank you to Alcatrex Laomi. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but he or she comments on every video that, uh, almost every video that I make, and I do appreciate the insight and the information that he provides. So thank you for that. I am down here in the mine shaft room because the ceiling is done, as you can see, just above us. Let's take a quick look at that. There we go. Nice and simple. A little bit of half slab action. Let's put our, there we go, push our crosshairs on. Half slab action, so there's a little bit of depth in there. And uh, that decked out build had some kind of obsidian in it, so I wanted to get that in the ceiling as well. And I think it looks amazing in RTX. We are going to get to the... The Stronghold Castle End Portal build. I gotta find a name for that. We're gonna get to that, but we are not gonna get to it today. We I don't have any video of it. I did some work. I got the end stone walls up and all that, but I'm not gonna show you that build every episode. Today, uh, we are gonna work on the conservatory is the main deal today. I did wanna show you these guys. Uh, they're, they're tough. They follow me around town here and there. They don't stick around this note block. I want... Oh, look at this. Oh, we got three three of them in there. How much? Oh, this is good timing. How much grass do we have? Let's do this. Because what I want to do is get these hatched, the eggs hatched, get the scoots, and then tie up the uh, lays. Oh, no, I don't want to put it down. I don't think I have enough grass for all of them, but there we go. Got one. Yeah, come here, little buddy. You want some grass? Oh, no. Not down there. There we go. Here you go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there's two more in there. Awesome. This is just good timing. I'm just going to do this to make sure I get these. Yeah, no, 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 no. okay. That's going to be that. Let's put these two scoots in here. Once they grow up, the scoots will come out and the LAs will pick it up, put them in here. Once all these eggs are hatched, I'm going to leash up the LAs, and they're just going to stay over here, and that'll be that. We'll kind of have this farm shut down for a little bit until we need the scoots. Uh, the next thing, I, I just wanted to show you that because the, see, look, at is he following me? No, he's staying. They get up to my house and stuff. It's really kind of frustrating, so I'm going to shut it down a little bit. But uh, Let's go up to the cemetery and wait for it to get dark out. Here it is, sunset near the cemetery, and I want to do this quick before the googlies come over. Googlies? What? Oh, I said it. The creepers <laughs> come over this way. Not safe here, but I, I wanted to show you this because the... Oh, zombie. Hello. Let's just do this. Uh, because last time it was raining, and the con there he is over there. Rising up out of the grave. The zombie apocalypse approaches. <laughs> it was raining, so I had night vision going because of the conduit effect. <laughs> so here it is at night without any night vision effects or anything like that, with the moon rising over the over the cemetery. Oh, yes, this is nice. There you go. So I just wanted you to see that in all its glory. Oh, also I put the cobwebs in. Yes, yes. So there you go. There is its in its full dark glory. Let's get to safety. There we go. All right, let's get to this conservatory. The main reason we're here today. Just got done with a nice nap, and here we go. Up at our house, the conservatory is going to go down the hill here just a little bit. Right over in that flat area over here. I haven't done any terraforming yet, but it that's... Basically, the area it's going to go, we have a nice zombie visitor over there with some armor. So that's fantastic. We'll have to, should we snipe them from up here? Can we shut this? There we go. And, oh, where'd he go? Did he despawn? Huh. Uh, let's just go down there. We'll get attacked. Who knows? As long as it's not a creeper. Well, it doesn't matter. I got to terraform it anyways. Yeah, so this is kind of the general area it's going to be. Let's go up. Just, ooh, I'll take bones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The general area right in here. So you can see a torch. Hey, how about spyglass? First time. Torch there. And there's a torch just on the other side of this hill right over here. And then there's one down there. And there's one over there. So it's basically going to be this whole area right here. 
is going to be the main building. Any creepers? Any creepers? I was awake at night, so I'm a little, a little nervous. It's going to be the main building, which is going to be mostly quartz and glass. And then there's going to be a side maintenance building, I'm calling it, where there's going to have farms for farms for the double tall flowers, you know, so we hit a lever and there's going to be a bunch of bone meal in there, which we need to bone meal farm somehow. I think I want to do that with cactus. Uh, yeah, so this is where it's going to go. I need to terraform this all up. I'm probably going to build the walls up and make sure it all fits in here the way I want it to, and then we'll get you back in. Also, it's not in the... I made these walls thinking this would be plenty of room for a lot of builds, you know, these walls here. But I think I'm just going to do the villager builds within the walls there and maybe some of the smaller farms. Uh, this one's way too big to get in there. It'll take up like almost the entire top part of the, the city, I think. So anyways, let's get started. Well, what do you think for the size? Ah, this is definitely the biggest thing I've ever built in survival Minecraft. This is definitely the biggest in survival Minecraft. It's going to go up, uh, what, the walls there, six or seven blocks all the way around. And then in the middle of this, there's going to be a dome that goes up. And I had to use a website to, to figure out how to make the dome. So I got a plan for that. And then the one thing I didn't do yet, because I don't have any basalt. I need a little bit of basalt to outline it. But back here is going to be the maintenance shop. Uh, which I kind of don't like that it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of tucked away here because it does look pretty cool on the outside so I'm looking forward to seeing that and then obviously I'll kind of dig this out more and soften the terrain back here but I wanted to bring you in and show you the size that, <laughs> that we're going with here so uh, I'll probably see you in a couple days I'm going out of town and <laughs> so I'm gonna be working this out and run out of town so you'll see it in about two seconds <laughs> i'll get the walls up we won't do the dome yet but we'll get the walls up and carve this back maybe and maybe get that started back there who knows but all right see you in a couple days oh, this is what i'm talking about these allays look at there's no scoots over here man go back to the scoot farm go back to the scoot farm well there it is that wasn't too bad it took me a couple hours in the nether and yeah just digging oh, i got a ton of ancient debris by the way i don't think i have it on me i think i put it away already I got a, like a good amount. We're going to have to do a bastion soon so we can upgrade to netherite armor. Here it is up close. We got full bricks and some of it. Full glass blocks, I should say, and some of it. And the rest of it is panes. I did these windows design just for something different. There's a little bit of, of pink highlights in this stuff. So I, I wanted it mostly clear because, I don't know, it just looks nice with the clear glass. But it needed a little bit extra detail. And of course, it's going to be so busy in here that you're, you know, I, it's, yeah, it'll be good. But here we are. Uh, it's a good size. And yeah, let's build the dome. The dome is next. I just wanted to bring you in because I wanted to kind of show you the process here. Uh, the process is put down a ton of glass block. <laughs> the dome is done. I also wanted to show you a little bit about what I'm doing while I'm I'm while I'm uh, getting this all built up. That took uh, a little while. That's a lot of glass blocks, and it all went through the one furnace. I just decided to go with one furnace for some reason. But what I'm doing is I kind of build it up. I let it get dark like this. And I'm trying to farm some gunpowder via creepers. So let's see. It's been dark long enough. Let's sleep. We'll get the mobs all burning other than the creepers and the spiders. And I like the spiders too because I need string for, for some candles and stuff. So it's nice to get the spiders too. So I'll come take this guy out maybe. There we go. Don't worry, we'll get to that. Yeah, look at that. We'll get we'll get to that. We'll I'll show you that real well. And let's look around for some creepers. Hopefully we can find some. Oh, and this. I'll show you that too. And uh, no creepers that I can see this time. So that's fine. It's uh, just kind of a slow roll farm. I, oh, as you can see as well. Okay, let's show you the build a little bit. It's kind of what I've been doing just to get some gunpowder for rockets. Uh, because the next episode, Bastion, I'm going to find a Bastion and I want to use my Elytra. 
in the in the nether to get it done. Here's our, this is obviously not anywhere near done. This is our maintenance shed area. There's going to be a lot more depth in here. That's just kind of the beginnings of it. And like there, you can see a little more depth and it kind of goes back in a little bit. And over here, as you may see, I've brought the landscaping back. I've been doing all that while I just kind of wait for sand to smelt. And then, yeah, let's go up here. And there you go. It's uh, more sand, more smelting, and more glass block placing. But that's the general shape of it. And I think what I need, I'm going to do, because I didn't think about it until I was up there at night. I got the torches up there right now. I might throw a half slab on every one of these cords so that it's spawn proof. And it might add a little bit more depth in there. Although that doesn't look too bad right now. I'm going to try it and see see how it looks. I'll probably just do it in the creative world just to see how it looks. And, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. All the glass is down. I put the half slabs on top of the rest of the quartz because uh, of mob spawning, and I think it looks great. Let's let's look at it from a little bit of an angle on the dome there. I think it looks great. Gives it a little bit more depth. It's one of those where it's take it or leave it, but I think it looks good. I think it looks good. So let's finish off this episode together with some of the things I want to throw on here. First, on top, uh, you can see I've already started putting together a light beacon type of thing up on top. Let's see, how can I get up here? This way, there we go. Now I can't just jump, jump, jump with these, with these half slabs up. Yeah, there's one there, and there's one there. Yep, okay, I, I was missing a couple of them. Uh, let's do this. Right here, we can put our scaffolding right there. All right, we'll just start with this. We'll do this. There we go. And I don't know, I'm not sold on this, but I want to give it a shot and let it let it simmer for a little bit and see what we think. For, shoot, you know what? I think I want four more. Magically, four more popped up in my inventory. Perfect. And then... See, the problem that I'm running into, I wanted a little bit skinnier spire, but the problem I'm running into is even sides. <laughs> I know that that's... Oh, they're right there. Good. Um, I know in Minecraft, that's a thing. Like, don't do... Don't do even sides, but I like the double door down there, and I just did it. So, there. <laughs> and on the outside of this cube of... of dri dripstone? No. Uh, glowstone by the way I went the there's going better like I go in there I've been doing a lot of tunneling for the courts and stuff so I can have the opportunity to get get the ancient debris as well but I had to go in there for a good uh, a good glowstone run and it went fine so I'm getting better unlike scaffolding I'm not doing better with scaffolding <laughs> but it's going better in there so there we go those are in perfect so we'll see what that looks like downstairs. Let's replace this one slab. Oh, there we go. Let's go down this way quick. I finished the boink. I finished kind of this area of the maintenance shack. It, the, the other side has something similar to this, or it's going to, and I'll show you more of the shack later. But I wanted it to tie in with the quartz, so I just used some quartz in there for the top part of the awning, basically. You'll see what I mean uh, some other time, but let's go with this. Yeah, that's right. Put there, and then trapdoors on this. So I'm gonna do this to all the sides. Just like that. And you know what I'm gonna do? Let's go around to the front. I'll do the front with what I wanna do today, and then we're gonna call it an episode, and I'll do the rest pretty much the same style as the front here with um on my on my own then you'll see it next time all right so on the front we'll add our glowstone there and there and our trap doors just like that let's add our trap doors on this corner and the other corner And the last thing that I want to do is, this isn't going to go start all the way up there, but I wanted to do like a kind of the, the trail of leaves down the side of the building. 
So they're going to start right in here, and we're just going to kind of randomly place them on our way down. Let's see, like this. It's going to go that way, and then maybe it goes this way a little bit, just like that, and out on the ground just a hair like that. Yeah, something like that, and then let's put up a few more of those together. So let me head back up to the top. This one maybe will start in here. It'll go more straight down and then off to the side just a little bit like that. Let's go there. Cover that up so I don't have to replace the stone. Perfect. Maybe this, this one will start a little bit further back and kind of meander this way a little bit. And maybe this one, uh, let's do this one too as well. I'm up here. Um, right like this. This one goes maybe a little bit more straight down. Maybe it curves over right here around the corner. Yeah, then down here like this. Let's take the scaffolding down. I uh, need one more right there like that. Yeah, yep. And then this one, <laughs> is it too far up there? Oh boy. So this one will go down this corner maybe a little bit and then kind of almost go into that one but uh, nope it's gonna wrap this way oh boy you see oh boy it's gonna go this way just like that I think we need the one right underneath like that yeah yeah all right let's go see what this looks like well should we do one more over there no not right now I'll do it on my own nope let's do another one right here <laughs> just so we can get a good view of what's going on there we go. That is a very good start on this build here. You can see where I'm standing right above, uh, right on this cherry tree here, uh, kind of over the river a little bit or yeah. So there, that, yes, yes, yes. I like it. I like it. It's not done. I think there needs to be more landscaping, maybe a, a few trees here and there, maybe like some green trees over there and things like that. But this is a great start. I am super happy with this. This looks great, so we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it here tonight. The next episode is a Bastion time, and then we're gonna get back into kind of more of the interior. It's ready for the bees now. It's all enclosed, so we're ready for bees in there, in the conservatory, and uh, not in the Bastion. We're not gonna put bees. I might between episodes go to the end and try to retrieve the stuff where I died, uh, and maybe some more gear. I'm gonna do that on my own though. I, I just you don't need to see that anymore. So. Um, anyways, yeah, so there you go. We'll, uh, hope you all have a fantastic day. If you like this uh, video, hit the like button. If you like me, hit the subscribe button. Uh, have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next episode.